What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the Hood Goddess Journey. I'm your host, Just Love It, Hood Goddess, and I am doing the air signs. Last but not least, I always keep y'all last because you guys are my least problematic group, okay? So, we're doing um, tarot scope for the new year for the air signs. Um, we're going to take a look into what you're leaving behind and what you're moving forward to moving towards um before i got on here i listened to this song i was watching a reel on ig and this um song caught my attention and it was a song called llc by money man featuring money bag yo i'm gonna put it in here so you know what song i'm talking about but it was catchy and i wanted to listen to it so i listened to it and i liked it and i feel like you guys are focusing on your businesses and focusing on getting yourself in order for what's to come. Your, your birthing businesses are about to, or you have been working towards it already. So that song may resonate with you. If you feel guided to go listen to it, go listen to it. We have time for a nap. We have orphaned. We have fork in the road. Deep knowing and co create. Let's get one more. We have higher power. And then we have go to distance on the bottom with breathe and observer. I feel like spirit has been observing you and these cards are a little. These cards are a little, it's showing me a little bit of what you've been through. It's like you've been through a lot of sadness, a lot of pain, a lot of conflict, conflict, a lot of deception, a lot of um, roadblocks. And Spirit is saying, since you chose to go the distance to push yourself far, or ahead of the game, you're going to um, reach this place where you can just breathe and, and 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 enjoy the stability that you have created for yourself. It was like even though you went through these tough times or these crazy situations and these blocks, you still had faith in God. You still use the wisdom that was given to you. And you created something through this pain. It's like you created yourself through pain. And it's like you had God guiding you and helping you throughout this whole journey and spirit is saying now you're about to head into a time where you can take a break you can breathe you can relax because you have time for a nap here let's get a little bit more insight on whatever message spirit has for us aquarius gemini libra air signs what more messages do you want to add to this spirit we have sudden wealth here you guys are going to become wealthy you guys are going to be lucky you guys are going to be and this is divinely given to you because you have 11 here your life path number could be an 11 i have a life path number 11 this you guys are um creative beings 
We have child here. We got main male and courtship. Yeah, you may get into a relationship with someone and possibly have a child in marriage. Look at this. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Yes, and we have the lovers underneath here. Yeah. I'm getting, I feel like somebody, I feel like this person who you're getting with, their mom does not like you or their ex does not like you, but you don't care because <laughs> that ain't got shit to do with you. Um, but you have lovers here and you have marriage. So what's coming? Like I said, it said rest here. So what's coming for you? And then you have a 4-4. Four, four. And then 19, I mean, 18 breaks down to a um, 9. And that talks about um, completion, coming to a completion. And also 9 months, it takes 9 months to birth a child. So yeah, you're definitely going to be getting married, becoming wealthy, um, getting into a relationship with this masculine does not have to be a man. It could be just a masculine energy. Whatever your preference is, you're getting in a relationship with someone. Who is your preference? You also have marriage here, and this is going to lead to marriage. Okay, let's clarify what this sudden was. This is amazing. That's why I always leave y'all last, because I ain't got to worry about y'all. Y'all good. <laughs> Let's clarify the sudden wealth. Yeah, we have six of pentacles. You're going to get equal give and take. For whatever whatever you're putting your energy into, you're going to get, you're going to gain wealth from it. Ten of swords. Hierophant. Then you have nine of cups. We have page of wands. Page of Wands and Page of Cups. I feel like, I feel like at some point you was trying to you not even trying you were speaking your truth and letting people know who you are, and these people doubted you. They didn't have faith in your in 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 the look what little they knew about what you were doing. These people did not have faith in your plans, your dreams, or whatever it is that you were doing. Even if you didn't say anything, they saw what you were doing and they didn't have faith in you. They didn't think you were going to get far. They didn't think you were going to get an, an equal give and take. But in exchange of resources out of this, people doubted um, your worth. And they doubted what you could do with your worth. Spirit is saying that's the truth. You turned your back on them because they turned their back on you. And now they're looking at you because you're having victory without them. You're, you're gaining this marriage and this relationship without them. You're celebrating without them. This is the Five of Cups. This is the Three of Cups. This is you with the Three of Cups, but they, they can no longer celebrate with you because you chose a different route because they didn't choose to support your dreams. Ten of Swords here, these people betrayed you. They stabbed you in the back. They talked a lot of shit. They even tried to manipulate you out of going after what it is that you wanted. I just seen the Empress. Clarify this Ten of Swords. We have Four of Pentacles. Yeah, these people were trying to hold you back. Um, but you took a risk and you stayed committed. And that's what's bringing this wealth, this sudden wealth. It's like it's all going to just come. Put up on this tower. Yeah, five of swords. The moon. Like I just heard overnight celebrity. Yeah. 
it's like these people are not going to be happy the sun in reverse this is a happiest card of the deck but it's in reverse and it's coming out with the knight of swords and this is someone who's in their ego these people are going to be in their head mad because you took a risk and you stayed committed and now they're stuck with burdens they're stuck with burdens and a lot of shit they got going on but you turn they turned their back on you or tried to cause some kind of conflict with you while you were a part of their lives so you ended that with them which makes them miss out on this opportunity of your abundance they cannot eat with you they cannot enjoy this celebratory moment with you because they fucked up when they had you in their life in the past and this could be family this could be friends this could be ex-lovers because we have the lovers poking out yeah they're sad because you're wealthy without them clarify this nine of cups yeah eight of wands people are going to be talking about how you're happy within your life you you're fulfilling personal happiness you're fulfilling your your goals your dreams yeah and you've healed people are going to be talking about that three of swords yeah at one point in time you used to you used to be real cutthroat you used to be real um like you used to you used to say a lot of shit you used to always come back with a response when somebody has something negative to say but you healed that within yourself and people are looking at that and they're seeing your change and your growth and they're seeing why you're wealthy now because they seeing that you did the work within yourself When they was trying to keep you stuck and trying to keep you, con trying to control you. They was trying to place a lot of burdens in your life. This could be a mother and a child dynamic. Your mother. Remember I just seen mature woman and false person. This could be your own mother. Yeah, your own mother did not, because we have the Queen of Pentacles, the Page of Pentacles. Your own mother did not um, want to see you happy, and they left you out. They wanted you to be stuck with no money and being in a relationship with someone who was controlling and manipulative. This may not resonate with everybody. This resonates with somebody, though, who is here. Everybody does not have a negative relationship with their mother. But for someone here, they do. This is someone who's... This is a paternal figure because we have the Page of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles because this is a child and this is a woman who takes care of the children. But it's like she didn't take care of the children. And you became an empress. You transformed yourself. You could have been... You could have been through a lot of harsh shit in your life. You could have been through a lot of abuse, a lot of control issues with other people trying to control you, but you chose to walk away from that. You chose to walk away from that pain and you chose to love yourself and to find balance in your life. And God is um, directing someone towards you who's going to give you that same thing and give you this abundance. You guys are going to be wealthy together, you and this partner. Let's clarify this child. Yeah, six of cups, nine of cups. Yeah, this is definitely a child you're birthing. And this, to me, this is, you see how this is a little child and someone's giving the flowers to the little kid? It's like, this is gifts. 
you're getting you're going to be given gifts this is like um baby shower gifts this is like um gifts for you know having the baby it's going to be gifts and this is nine cups this is nine months nine emotional months that you have to endure with a child I feel like it's going to be really emotionally fulfilling to you. Clarify this, um, this child. We have another nine here. So yeah, yeah, the emperor. Yep, he going <laughs> Spirit said he going he to gonna, he gonna have you stuck with a child, but not in a negative way. This emperor, he's going to provide. He's going to provide. He's going to do his part. This person who you're... Who you're having this child with this person is going to do their part they're going to be more because we have the main male here he's this masculine is going to they're going to they're going to take care of you and this child they're going to they're going to do they're going to exceed and this is the empress this talks about a woman who is birthing um a human and this is a transformation and then you're going to be able you want to you're going to have the strength to um you're going to have the strength to 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 push through we have seven of cups seven of swords i want to see what that's about going to be a real yeah this is going to be a real healing moment for you when you start to have a child and you're pregnant with the child this is going to be a really a real a real emotional but healing moment for you you're going to be able to heal a lot of things because you're going to have the support there going through this process you're not going to be left alone with no child you're going to have full support from the father of the child so everybody's this nine of cups yeah nine of wands it's going to be very fulfilling yes page of cups yes it's going to it's going to be very fulfilling. And any burdens that was trying to block you guys could also yeah, any burdens or kind of personal issues you're going to have that's going to be gone. You may have an air sign child or a water sign child. Yeah, your your child may be a uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or your child may be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. So some sometime next year you you will be getting pregnant, and then we have the fish. Clarify this hangman. Six of Swords. The Chariot. While you're pregnant, this is going to take you to a calm, even calmer place. Like while you're pregnant, you're going to be going, stepping into an even more calmer um, place. And this is a man, a woman, and a child here. 
he's taking them to a calmer place and he's 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 leading he's he's taking care of his family and i feel like he might get pregnant fast <laughs> i ain't even i ain't even gonna lie but you might get pregnant before the summer but you're gonna get pregnant fast but this is going to bring a lot of healing to you clarify this um emperor yeah ace of pentacles he's going to provide he's going to be this blessing to you because he's going to be here for you he's going to take care of you he's going to provide anything you need yes king of pentacles this is a provider he's going to run and go get it <laughs> yeah he's going to run and go get it he's not going to be slow he's going to take his time with you He's going to be patient with you. And Spirit is saying this is the truth. He's going to invest his time and energy in this. And he's going to hold on to this family. He's not going to, he's not going to bring any kind of, he's not going to bring any kind of disappointment to the situation he's going to make sure this situation is stable solid and that you're taken care of and that things are balanced and he's going to be making sure he he he's going to be working hard he's going to make sure that things are good by the time you are ready to have this baby king and queen of cups he's going to love you and you guys are going to have victory together. Eight of Swords. You don't even see that. This You don't even see the shit coming. But it's coming. Like. People are going to. People are going to be shocked. Because they're not going to see. That you are pregnant. I feel like you're going to keep this private. Yeah. You're going to keep this private. And. Once you come out with this. People are going to realize. They really missed out on an opportunity with you. <laughs> You over here independent while everybody else over there in this toxic energy. Okay, I just seen 2222. Um let's clarify this courtship. So everything's really gonna be balanced with that 2222. Clarify this courtship, balance and stable. We have three of cups, knight of swords, three of pentacles. And then we have page of swords. Yeah, you're going to have people mad. Okay, when you get into this relationship, people are going to be mad because you're celebrating. They're not going to like it. They're going to be watching, but they're not going to like it. Yeah, eight of cups. Yeah, because you walked away from them and you're not fucking with them. Yeah, they missed out on an opportunity and they didn't even see that they missed out on this opportunity. They're going to be mad because you completely closed them out. And they they missed they missed the opportunity and didn't even know it was being it was an opportunity being missed because you were so private and you kept shit to yourself. Clarify this to your pentacles. Yeah, high priestess, you kept this connection to yourself. This is a secret. This is hidden knowledge. Clarify this page of swords. Yeah, King of Pentacles. But then they're gonna see that you're you're strong, and then you have somebody that's providing for you who is also strong. So they're definitely going to feel like they missed out on the opportunity with you. And then these could be ex-lovers as well. They feel that you are so attractive and they wish that they could be the one, but they're not. That's why they're upset. Yes, that's why they're mad. Because they chose not to transform themselves, but you did. And you got what you wanted, which is happiness with this man. Who's willing to be patient. And then they're mad because it's a solid relationship that was hidden. They wanted to be in and out, fucking around with you, but you blocked that off. 
before any of those burdens could take any place. You, you, you chose to heal yourself. And now these people are sad because now they cannot celebrate with you. Because you're pregnant. <laughs> and you're in a whole new relationship. And you're getting what you deserve. Justice is here. You're getting what you deserve. And these people out here, you know, in toxic relationships. This could be family. Your, top, your family um, not liking this. Because you didn't involve them in anything. In this relationship, in this pregnancy, you did not involve them at all. You kept it between you and this relationship in, in this relationship. Clarify this man now. We have the death card, nine of wands. So this main male has transformed himself. This is someone that could have been yeah, this person did transform himself. They're getting money. They've gained a lot of wisdom. They've learned a lot of shit. And they definitely transformed themselves. This is somebody you've dealt with before. They caused some kind of heartbreak before. But they've transformed themselves yeah, from their toxic ways. The devil here. They used to be toxic. But now they want to come forward and love you and show you love. Clay God is not wants. Yeah, they want to take a risk. Clay God is six of swords. Yeah. And they want to have a new beginning. Yeah. They realize that you are a blessing in their life. And they're putting themselves under judgment for what they've done to you in the past. And they're going to come in and communicate how they feel towards you. Towards you. Okay, let's clarify. The devil and the death card. We have King of Pentacles. Yeah, this 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 masculine. He's closing out this materialistic energy he was in and this whole energy that he was in where he wanted to have multiple people. Yeah. He no longer wants to be a player. He no longer wants to be single or be in that energy of being single. Yeah. King of Wands or just out here being a hoe like he was thinking with his dick he don't want to be like that. This person does not want to be like that and that's the tower moment because he's He's thought about all the betrayal he caused on you and now he wants to have a new beginning in love because all he brought to the situation was conflict and he wants to move away from that because he cannot get that shit off his mind and he cannot get you off his mind and he also stalks you or looks or looks at your photos, pictures or just think about the times y'all had and how you just walked away and ended shit from the situation and he's now seeing that with you it's a personal fulfillment for him to have you in his life and that he wants to build this um full emotional connection with you he finds you very attractive and he feels that you are his match and he does not want to miss out on an opportunity on that and he does not want you to think that it's just about sex so I thought it's cool yeah this person wants to come forward and offer love they're taking a risk and they're coming forward to offer you love. Clarify the Six of Swords and the Page of Wands. Yeah, a hermit. This person sees you while they're in hermit mode, healing themselves, going through this transformation. And they see you and they see a new beginning with you. And they see victory with you because they love you. And I feel like they're going to commit. Yeah, they want this happiness. They want this commitment. Hierophant talks about marriage. The sun talks about that. It talks about complete happiness. This person sees complete happiness with you. And they want to commit to you. Clarify this um, Ace of Pentacles and Judgment. Yeah, Two of Swords. Yeah, this person... The moon, nine pinnacles. This person was moving slow in the past, and 
and while they were moving slow, they were betraying, betraying you, but they're going to come in and communicate. Um, they're going to communicate why they kept you waiting and what was going on in their life. But they're also going to want to communicate that they want to keep this relationship um, private between you two so you guys can grow and build this relationship without having any interference. They want to make things right. And they don't want to have too many people involved. Not in no controlling way. They just want to put strength back into this relationship and actually fix it. And Spirit is saying that's the truth. It's not like they're trying to hide you or anything. They just want this relationship to actually last. this marriage yeah it's going to be equal give and take in this marriage yeah it's going to be a, it's going to be a lot of effort put into this yeah and it's going to be blessed it's going to be a blessed investment. You got the sun. You got the hierophant. This is marriage. This is going to be a happy marriage. And it's going to fix a lot of things. Yeah. Seven of swords. Anything that was broken or deceptive or anything that wounds that you may have had is going to be healed in this marriage. And also, I feel like you guys are going to just sneak and get married. Yeah, it's like you're going to get proposed to and you guys are just going to run off. And it's like an elope type thing. You're going to get married. Yeah, and you're going to be fulfilled in this marriage. You're going to be personally fulfilled. Yeah, and ain't no getting in between this. The hangman and the son, nobody's getting in between this. It's going to be solid. Two of Pentacles. Yeah. Anybody trying to get in between this and trying to trap somebody? Um, trap somebody outside this relationship is not going to happen. It's getting blocked off. Because this is this is a marriage that's that's going to happen. All these other shit, these burdens and shit is getting put to rest. All these other offers are going to get put to rest. Clarify this Eight of Pentacles. This High Pink. Yeah. Nine of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles. Five of Wands. Yeah, you're going to have people mad because... You done. You got married without letting them know, or you got married and you didn't invite them, or you just got married and they missed missed out on an opportunity with you. They wanted you to be single. And just out here. I guess with randoms this could be family yeah but your destiny is to be married and to be in a, str a strong marriage at that one that will last clarify this hermit in the seven swords yeah five of swords these people are going to be thinking like and they're going to have anxiety because you you was telling the truth you wasn't playing no motherfucking game and somebody chose to wife you up and these people doubted that you could be they doubted that you could even accomplish a marriage or a solid commitment 
not even just your goals. They doubt your goals, but not only do they doubt your goals, they doubt that you could be in a happy, happy relationship because they couldn't see that for themselves. So let me give y'all some advice. What advice do we have for the air signs? Y'all readings are always good. What advice do we have for the air signs? So, yeah, don't be afraid. Don't be in the energy of fear. Fear blocks flow. Um, stay in this energy of peace. We have self-love here. Continue to love yourself. And just stay focused on your own growth and transformation. Yeah, we have unexpected blessings coming in. So just trust that they are going to come and trust that they are blessings when you receive them. Spirit is saying you're going through growing pains right now. There's a lot of changes happening. There's a lot of changes that's about to happen. Things are about to be very fruitful for you, though. You're about to be able to pick your fruit. Yeah, we have abundance. And then you have pleasure. Spirit is saying don't take life too serious. You're about to be abundant. You're attracting this abundance. So just have fun. Um, you have darkness. This is talking about following the unknown. You may not know what's ahead of you, but just know what's ahead is something great. Yeah, don't resist this change. This person that's coming forward, they really want to be with you. Spirit is saying to take the time to self-reflect on the things that you may need to heal within yourself. Because this is your path, this is your journey, and this 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 is a part of you co-creating with the universe. And this is one of your blessings, this person coming in to marry you, this child that you're about to birth. This is a new blessing, this is a new journey, a new start for you. And Spirit is saying to use that wisdom and know that you're going to realize a lot of things about yourself now that you've grown. Um, surrender anything that you cannot control over to the most high. And just know changes is coming. Use your discernment and love yourself. And these new beginnings will be waiting for you. Alright, that's all I have for you guys. Peace.